Are you suffering in life in any way, shape, or form? If so, stick around because this video will help. Many times, us as humans suffer because of the meaning that we choose to put behind something. We have the power to change the meaning. Now, does that mean that we are being false or pretending or something like that? No, it's not. What it does mean is we are choosing to have a different perspective, a perspective that actually serves us and is productive for us, rather than taking us to the knees and being unproductive for us. I'm Connie Jo Holmes. I'm the founder of BU to be Full Hypnosis and Coaching, and my mission is in my company name. I teach individuals self-acceptance and how to authentically be you, because when that happens, it's just natural and easier to live a very fulfilled life. And also in that capacity, I teach individuals how to confidently and courageously move from reacting to life to owning your life. And I'm going to tell you the meaning that you put behind something and how you allow that meaning to affect you is a great way to learn how to own your life when you can actually manage that. So what do I mean by all of this? So many times something will happen to us. We see, hear, feel something, we experience something, and we immediately put some sort of a meaning behind it. I, I think it's just natural and human. We just do that. And many times that meaning can serve us or that meaning can actually disserve us. And a lot of times we define that meaning. No one else does, but we do. So if we are powerful enough, if you will, to assign a certain meaning, well, then we're powerful enough to actually have that meaning be something that actually is productive for us. So an example, you are at work and you say hello, you walk by this colleague's office on the way to your office every morning and you say, good morning, Susie. Uh, good morning, Susie. How are you? Whatever it may be. And Susie might kind of look up at you and just, you know, kind of nod her head or something like that. Well, the meaning you put behind that could be Susie's a bitch. Susie doesn't like me. Susie's rude. It could be any of those types of things. But yet, do you know any of those to be factual? Because do you really have a conversation then with Susie to know if what you're assuming is actually right, wrong, or indifferent. And so when you have those thoughts, using that as an example, that's not really serving, is it? Because, you know, if you think that someone's a bitch or someone's rude, well, you might start to treat them that same way um, or have that certain guard up when you do approach them. And that's not productive for anyone. Versus you could choose to have the meaning that... Susie is an introvert. Susie is in the middle of something when I happen to walk by and say good morning to her, so I interrupted her momentarily. Uh, Susie is somebody who doesn't really like morning chit chat, whatever it might be. And so, but those meanings that you apply to that, those could be quite a bit more serving for you because you're coming at it from a point of wanting to um, understand, not decide or deciding to not take something personally. And that can be really, really helpful in your life. Because then, because if you think about it, if you assign a meeting before you really know the truth, that meaning you put to it is going to mask your relationship with you that you that you have with that person or you're trying to develop with that person whereas if you have more of a neutral uh meaning that you put on something then when you do have a conversation or anything like that with that person it's going to be from a point of neutrality versus a point of already having some ill will and some negative thoughts about that person. So hopefully you can see and hear and feel the difference with that. So another thing I want to talk to you about is really remembering that things happen to us rather than having things define us. An example of this. If by chance anyone listening to this, or even if it's not happened to you directly, I think we can all maybe 
um, sympathize or empathize with this scenario. But if you are somebody who you were in an abusive relationship and you actually had a spouse that was physically abusive to you, it's very important to know and remember you are somebody who you were abused versus I am somebody who's deserving of being abused. That's a big, big difference. And hopefully you can feel that. Because a lot of times when something happens to us, we can allow it to define us. And so when we allow it to define us, that could be when you take on the energy of I'm deserving of being abused. I am somebody who only attracts abusive relationships versus taking this incident as crummy as it is. I'm not excusing anything, but taking that incident and looking at it for, for the individual act that it was that the abuse happened to me rather than it's defining me as I'm somebody who's always in, a, in an abusive relationship. So that's a really good one to remember as well. Then the third and last one that I want to share with you is to, I always like to say, if you want a better answer, ask a better question. And what I mean by that specifically is, a lot of times if we are suffering in any way, if we are suffering from, you know, and sometimes we all get this way, you know, we, we just have something that happened to us or we have, you know, a thought that's in our mind or something like that and we sit with it and we, we spiral downward. And so a lot of the reasons why we're spiraling downward is because we are asking why. Why did this happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? Why do I attract relationships like this? Why does this person not love me or respect me? Well, when you ask those types of why questions, that is putting you in the position of lack because why am I not having the other thing? And so it's putting you in a position of lack and that's never a good position to be in. But also when we ask a question, we seek an answer. So why does this always happen to me? Well, the thought and the emotion that could follow, if you keep asking yourself that unproductive question, could be, because I deserve it, because I'm just a horrible person. You know, it, it could just really start to attract these answers that are not true. But yet, when you keep asking that unproductive question, you're going to point to an answer such as that. So that's why it's important to remember that you can ask a different question. Instead of asking, why does this always happen to me? Change that why to how. There was an edit in that video because someone came to the door and my dogs went nuts. <laughs> what I was saying was, start to ask yourself how questions instead of why. How can I learn and grow from this? How can I do something differently so that this situation does not keep happening to me? And hopefully you feel the difference in that because that how question is actually empowering you. You are acknowledging, oh, I don't like this, I want this to change. So how can I take charge, empower myself and make it change? That how is giving you stamina, guts, energy, whatever you wanna say that's going to help you find that answer to your question, how? How can I overcome this? How can I do this differently? Versus why? You know, and really, I'm, I'm going to be very physical with this. Why does this keep happening to me? You know, ugh, defeat, lack, oh my gosh, versus how can I put an end to this? I hope you, well, I know you do because how can you not, but uh, really see and feel the difference with that. So if you are somebody who is struggling right now, you're a little bit, you know, kind of sinking low for whatever might be going on. Pay attention to the thoughts in your head because your thoughts create emotions, your emotions create actions, and repeated actions create your life. So if you are feeling a bit low right now, a little down in the dumps or whatever it might be, pay attention to the thoughts in your mind. More often than not, those thoughts, not always, but oftentimes those thoughts are actually phrased in our head as a question. So pay attention to the questions that you're asking yourself and 
the questions you're asking, the answer, is that going to be one that serves you and empowers you? Or is it going to be one that um, does not serve you and actually can tend to take you to your knees? So, all right, I hope that was helpful. So the point of this video was just to help you to really empower yourself and to remember things happen to you. They don't have to define you. Uh, if you are feeling stuck or down in life, pay attention to the questions and the thoughts in your mind and you are empowered to turn those around and change those. So if you do need help with this in your life, uh, I do um, help my clients with this very, very uh, often with my um, certified hypnosis as well as my certified life coaching. So if this is a service that you need help with, please reach out to me today and we can set up a free 30-minute consultation call. Because doing these things, when you're in your own head, it can be a little bit hard to catch it and to change it. So sometimes you need that outside uh, person to help you with that. And that's exactly what, um, what I do in my business. All right. Thank you so much. I hope that was helpful. Bye.